So the other day I was working on one of my client's portraits and I realized how the small details and the choices that you make during the editing process really makes a huge difference at the end of the editing. One of them is editing the eyes. Eyes are the door to the emotions and also put lives into your portraits. So today I'm going to share my recipe and process of editing eyes in Photoshop. With that said, if you're here for the first time or if you have been here for a while and haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. Now let's dive into the Photoshop. So before jumping into Photoshop, I really want to bring this to attention that I shoot all my portraits using a flash. This is a portrait of my friend. I have used an 8200 as my key light and a Godox SL60 as my hair light. The key light is very important to get those beautiful catch lights which really puts that life into your portrait. So now let's look into Photoshop how we can highlight those details, the iris and the catch lights. Alright, so we are in Photoshop and I have already done the retouching process over here. We are only gonna look into the eyes so this was before and this is after so what i have done the eyes before but we're gonna do it uh, now again so for the eyes it's very simple we're just gonna need two uh, curves one is uh, for the inner iris and one for the outer iris i'm going to explain you that how to use that but let's start with a curve and we're gonna have two sets of curve, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. So we have now two pairs of uh, curves for left eye and right eye. So what we're gonna do here is gonna raise this up and gonna press Ctrl and I to invert the mask and gonna do the same for the outer. Now, you're gonna zoom inside and let's try to understand what's happening here. The flashlight or the key light is falling in this direction. And generally you wanna expect that whichever direction the light is entering, the opposite direction will be the where it will get brightened up. And that's how the eye works. It's not something I have said. So that's generally your physics. So this is your catch light and this is your iris. If we go further, we can see there is like one line, but also there are bands, which I'm going to show you when, once I start working on them. So let's start with the left eye. Come over here, just take a brush and we're gonna have like very tiny, brush and set the flow to 40 and then you're gonna just draw the irises so that's the inner part and that's how it is before and that's the after now we're gonna use this and increase the size a little bit to kind of get these bands together. You see, one, two. Do not worry about how bright or how much flow you should be using. Just do it for now. Because these are all on mask and you can always reduce the opacity of this. So that's the left eye and we're gonna go into the right eye to the same now we're gonna zoom out you're gonna stand here, come a little closer and then see how our eye is looking. That is before and that's after. Looks so much different. But what we can always do is reduce the opacity 
so maybe we can go somewhere like 70 for this or both that's I never like to go full power on it just so that it's there and we can again go closer and see how it is looking looks good to me now the second part of this is you wanna highlight the catch light a little bit you're gonna create a new layer call it catch light get a brush select white over here make sure this is soft light also you can not choose to have it soft light I sometimes just go with normal but let's see how this works for this one we're gonna take here we're just gonna kind of paint it on the side not too much come over here and paint it on the side that's it now that looks way too much so what we're gonna do is once one thing we can move it to soft light and that makes it already very soft that's before and after however there is another thing that you can do is we go back to normal and that's how it was you're gonna double click on the corner that is going to give us the layer styles and you're gonna select the underlying layer and press alt and option and take this away now you see how subtle that looks this is before this is after I'm going to show you what exactly happened again when I reduced the underlying shadows out highlights out so here this was full and when you press alter option on this it divides and as you pull it kind of blends well you can choose how much you want leave it there and that's where I leave it generally now you can always reduce the opacity if it's too much for you and bring it down to 70 as well so that's our eye before and after we're gonna zoom in and see again and see how much life it brings to the portrait when you do before and after now that's how I uh, edit my photos and after that I have kind of finished it so that I'm gonna show you how things looks at the end so I color graded this and that's giving it a lot of depth and shine and then finalize this but we're gonna do that in a different video let me know in the comments that if you wanna look into the entire process for this but for this video that's how we do the eyes so that was my process of editing the eyes where I used the curves and the soft blending mode to highlight the iris and the catch lights. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up and also let me know if you use it in your portraits and maybe leave your Instagram handler below in the comments. Also consider subscribing to this channel and support my work and hit the bell icon so that you get to know when the next video is coming. Until then take care and I'll see you in the next video.